Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to fill in the gaps between your divs. So for example, right now I have my header here and right here I have my navigation right here. But you'll notice that there is a gap there and we don't want that gap. So we are going to just bring them closer to each other. So I'm using Bootstrap right now and uh, you know you don't have to use Bootstrap but if you are using Bootstrap so you'll set the margins to zero and you should fill in uh, that gap. However if you are using CSS only you'll need to use negatives. So for example negative 50 pixels uh, something like that. Alright so let's go over this problem now so I'm going to open the code and this is my uh, CSS right here so I'm going to maximize this and right here you will notice that this is my navigation and right here I have the header so I have the header 1 and I'm going to add an ID there so I'm going to say ID equals to header alright so I'm going to use that ID so I'm going to go to the CSS and I'm going to say so let me zoom in you can see it better alright so now I'm going to say hashtag and I'm going to put that header there then I'm going to say margin dash button you know choose the margin because we see that there is a margin here so that margin right here that empty space is either the margin of this header or this navigation so I'm going to go with the header and let's see if it's going to fix it. So I'm going to say margin button, then I'm going to say zero pixels. So put a semicolon there and then save it, then refresh it. So now as you notice, that gap has been filled and we don't have any space between our divs. If you want to move it up a little bit more, you can use negatives. So a lot of new developers, they don't know that they can use negatives. So I'm going to say negative 20 pixels. Let's see what's going to happen. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to refresh it. You'll notice that it went over the header and it's overlapping it now. So this, so we have just moved it up a little bit. So this is not what we want. So we are going back to zero. So I'm going to change this to zero pixels so save it and refresh it so now we have no gaps again so i hope this video was helpful in some way and if you have any questions you can leave the questions in the comments below so i will see you all in the upcoming videos